hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss the problem minimum number of operations to make array empty so here you are given uh, you, you are given zero indexed array nums consisting of positive integers so before starting the problem uh, i have attached the problem uh, question link and the solution in the description and i have also attached a lead code extension where you can see the company tags this will be helpful when you are preparing for a specific company's interviews. So uh, now let's understand the problem. You are given a zero indexed array nums consisting of positive integers. There are two types of operations that you can apply on the array any number of times. Choose two elements with equal values and delete them from the array. Or choose three elements with equal values and delete them from the array. Return the minimum number of operations required to make the array empty. He is saying that if I have values like 2 2 2 2 then I will take these two elements and I will delete it and these two I will delete it in the same way if I have 2 2 2 and 2 2 uh, these three elements I will delete it then these two elements I will delete it so he is saying that return that minimum number of operations required to make array empty and minus 1 if it is not possible so you can switch the speeds guys you can switch the speeds to 1.25 or 1.5 it's based on your uh, experience on which uh, in, the, in what pace you're gonna watch so when we will get minus one if you say this you can remove two or you can remove three i will say i will take if i want to remove one if i want to remove one is one we can remove no right only two or three can we remove two yes in how many operations one operation can we remove three yes how many norm one operation can we remove four Yes, definitely we can remove. We can remove two and we can remove another two here. Two operations. We can we remove five? Yes, three plus two, two. And if you come here, six. Can we remove three plus three? Okay. And if it's seven, then seven minus two or seven minus three. From five I can come to seven or four I can come to seven. It will be three. For it, I can come from 5 or I can come from 6, it will be 3, 9, same it gonna be 3. If you say this, you think, oh, is there any dynamic programming comes into this picture? Oh, no iOS, no dynamic program. If you observe it carefully, there is a simple maths. You can see, for 2, we have 1, for 3, we have 1, for 4, we have 2. So if you see, if you see for 4, we have 2, for 5, we have 2, for 6, we have 2. So can we take like 6 divided by 2 is 6 divided by 3 is 2 then 5 divided by 3 is 1.66 so can we take seal can we take seal yeah definitely definitely we can take seal of 1.66 it will be 2 same thing seal of 4 by 3 same it gonna be 2 1.33 seal is definitely 2 so what I will do I will take um, my answer would be seal of count of elements divided by 3 if you are using C++ you can into 1.0 because it now if you take 0 it will take as an integer integer and it will give only the integer count divided by 3 it will directly give you 1 rather than 1.33 if you add 1.0 or you can directly take 3.0 if you make it double make it double then this will be double so you can seal will work and it will give your answer so directly we are going and we are taking the frequency of each element we are calculating the frequency of each element then we are iterating if i dot second is one if it is one can we make it there are only two or three we can either remove two elements or three elements not the one element directly we will return minus one so, because the answer is not possible then c is equal to c plus seal of this and we are returning the c i hope you understand this solution uh, what will be the time complexity it would be order of n space same order of n because we are using the map it is a frequency map i think you have understood this solution if you understood please do like and subscribe to my channel and every sunday and every bi-weekly on saturday i will upload the questions so that um, if you subscribe it you will get the notification for each and every question thank you thank you